today's episode of the silly crap that people make up and call religion. Okay. <laughs> That's basically what, what I do. <laughs> I get tired of it, man. Like, I mean... <laughs> I don't like <laughs> I get so tired of people just making crap up. That sound they they think it sounds good and it's like dude, you know, come on. And <sighs> people don't realize like how like I got to be careful about how I say this because I don't, I really don't want to come off like too judgmental or haughty. By the way, like my Bob Roth shirt. I love Bob Roth. He's, he's a nice guy. Like he probably, probably was a, you know, probably, probably, well, I'm sure he may not have been. A, I don't know if he was a Christian man. Like he could have been, he could have just been a Christian with a sweet fro that liked to do the little hippie paintings. But, uh, yeah, I like his paintings and that's kind of what like God is doing. I feel like, like. If that ain't a statement about God, like, I don't know. But anywho, it's an old church. But, uh, from my hippie days. But, uh, anywho, though. But thing is, is, yeah. So, uh, and I know I'm a mess. I just, you know, woke up not too long ago again. I'm not getting on here trying to, like, be all pretty for you. Like, yep, you're going to get me as I am. Um... Because I just got to do these videos. I got to get them out of the way as I get the ideas, you know. Um, yeah. So, anyhow. Uh, there's so much dead, dried up religion out there. And it's disgusting. And it's, it's so m often rooted in pride. Okay? Like, it is all about man. And I'm telling you, like, all the people I've ever seen who's got dead religion, they have an ego problem. They have a horrible ego problem. And, like, and we all do somewhere. But, like, the, the more mature Christian is at least trying to keep it in check, you know. And I, I, I cannot stand it. Like, I get so annoyed with people with people's egoism that's why i really am trying to watch my words and not just rip on people because i want to and i got to keep my ego in check you know i'm not going to sit here and act like i'm egoless that's one of the things that made like the the whole uh music festival scene so stupid to me was it was just like they're all acting like they ain't got no freaking ego but they're spending all this money to go to a music festival and party you know Oh, but you don't have an ego, my bad, like, <laughs> the stupidity, um, but anywho, so, yeah, <sighs> see, I gotta watch my words, I gotta watch my words, but, as I, I'm telling you, man, like, I really gotta watch myself, because I don't want to just offend people, and push them closer to the falsehood, because that tends to happen, like, you, know, you got a daughter, and she's dating, a, you know, kind of scuzzy dude and whatever and you really don't like the dude and whatnot because he's bad for your daughter you know you got to be careful about how you approach that situation because you could just solidify her attraction i'm like oh my dad doesn't like him that means he's a bad boy he's 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 hard to maintain that's how people are, man. Like, this is how people are. I mean, like, we think that when we grow up that, like, our mind goes with our body and not necessarily. I mean, honestly, so many people, they are physically an adult, but mentally, they stopped and they're, like, teenagers. Look at that bear. Look at the any, whatever. So, <laughs> thing is, though... Is um so so let's go over some very egotistical crap that annoys me like you would not believe. Okay, so I've noticed this in a big way in the black community, and I don't know about up here, but like down south, it was huge. When I was in Arkansas, it was huge. Okay, and so what is and i know what it comes from 
Okay, because like, and before you try to sweat me about, oh, he's a racist. Dude, I can rap better than most people. Like, I am a proficient rapper. I don't rap anymore, but like, if I picked up a pen and a pencil and I got back in practice, I would shred everybody. Like, you know, or a pen and paper. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'm a great rapper. I can't freestyle to save my life, but I can write like you wouldn't believe. But the thing is, though, is like, you know, and that, and like, I've had, I ha I've, I have been in the black community pretty extensively. And so the thing is, is, uh, like, I mean, that's where I got my start in preaching was a black, Southern black church. And like, yeah, down there, they kind of self segregate. Like there, there are, there are like, it shouldn't be that way, but it is like, uh, and honestly, I'll tell you right now, like they're, they're how they worship. I really dig a lot of the time because they really cut loose. However, however, they make it too much about that sometimes and they get lost in, they get lost in the jam, which is easy to do. Cause when you're really jamming, dude, like it's just real easy to just, you know, somebody at some point's gotta go, hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Like, well, let's let's get logical here. And uh, the thing is, is, you gotta balance it out. You know, all jam with no logic just leads to act in a fool. And the thing is, is like, and there's a lot of that that goes on there. And it's not just them. You know, I mean, we got we got loads of other churches that do this. Like a lot of these, you know, these newer churches, these very liberal churches, which as you can see, I'm not a fan of, li uh, I'm a fan of liberality, but not modern day leftist liberalism, okay? And we'll, maybe we'll get to that at another point. But the thing is, is they, uh, <laughs> the, uh, and by the way, pray for me when I tackle issues like this. Because, like, I don't want people to just think, oh, this dude's a racist. Like, no, I'm not a racist. Just because I'm addressing what black people do. Like, and by the way, I'm part black. Like, apparently somewhere down the line, like, I have got a black great-great-granny. So, <laughs> there's my card. Leave me alone. But, uh, like thing is and uh yeah like i i've had features that i've like and you can't tell just by looking at me but if i show you my features you'd be like whoa because <laughs> they're subtle because it's only a little bit that i got but the thing is is like so yeah so don't sweat me about me being a racist just because I'm talking about what black people do. Because we're living in very volatile times. Where, like, if you're white, you can't you can't say anything. Like, without somebody trying to sweat you. And it's like, dude. You know, I mean, like, everybody's permanently offended. It's super sensitive. You know, and it's just like, dude, like, calm down. You know, you're, people are so irate. And they don't make sense. It's like, dude, shut up. You know, and there's a lot of black folk that look at this like it's the stupidest thing ever. You know, uh, for real. And like to them, thank you for thinking past your peers. That's a hard thing to do, you know, because you tend to be ostracized. So I commend you for that. If you're one of those guys who have done that, seriously. And, you know, you make life a lot easier for white folks and for Black folks too, really, because you guys are you're actually preserving logic. You're literally being the salt of the earth, and I can't thank you enough. And you know, you're keeping racism at bay. And racism isn't just white on every other color, okay? Um, and right now, like white people are the target in a huge way. Um, not the only target, but we are like the main target. So yeah. All right, so anywho, now that I've tackled that issue and I've probably ruffled some feathers if anybody actually watches this, but oh well. 
uh, in the Southern black churches. And it's not just them. I've noticed this in Africa too. I haven't been to Africa, but I've seen over social media because they've tried to add in whatever you be, if you're part of some Christian group, they're on there. Cause there's a lot of Christians in Africa. And so the thing is, but there's a trend. Okay. And like a lot of it, I think comes from having generally low self-esteem, you know, because when you got low self-esteem, you try to lift yourself up so that way it's like, you know, well, at least I'm something, you know. And, like, I get that because that was so much what my rapping was about was just trying to, like, not feel so weak, you know. And, like, uh, yeah. So, thing is, is I get it, man. I get it. But it's not right. And we need to get emotionally intelligent and self-aware enough to where we're, you know, where we're not making a mockery of Jesus Christ or his church or whatever, right? Because people on the outside see this stuff and they go, ew, you know? So, people on the inside see this stuff and go, ew, and I'm one of them. And so, and there's reasons for that because it's egotistical, there's no place for egoism in the body of Christ. You know, if you really think about it, your salvation is not of you. Um, yeah, like, it's not of you, and you have no claim to it. Like, the Christian walk, you know, this is a very broken thing. Um, well, we should be broken. We should be of a humble, contrite spirit. Not acting like, you know, we're trying to be Oprah Winfrey, right? Um, and that's what really takes me off. Well, it, it, I don't know if it really takes me off. sets me off, and it's, it's gross and whatever. I don't know if I'm necessarily angry about it. But the thing is, is like in, in these churches, what goes on is you got people going around saying with these titles, okay? And it, it's ridiculous, because they all have a title, and you better address them by their title, which I didn't, and it rubbed them totally the wrong way, but oh uh, well. Um, the thing is, is like, they want you to, like, they'll claim that they're an apostle or evangelist, which these are actual titles, okay? So don't th let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater here. They're really titles, okay? But... They want you to put that in front of their name, like doctor, right? And even then, I don't call a doctor. Like, I don't look at my doctor and say, doc, you know, doctor so-and-so, doctor Steven. And, like, I don't say that. I just call him, I just call him Steve or, or Steven, you know, like, or dude. <laughs> I'm not calling you by your freaking title. Um, I'm not, I'm not all that impressed, okay? I'm not. And, like... I mean, for real. So, thing is, yeah, um, the, uh, like, and they do, they do that so that way they can have preeminence, which, by the way, this religious show is a big thing that Jesus warned against, okay? So, uh, and if you notice, that's the main theme of my videos, is I'm trying to mitigate the religious show or at least expose it for what it is and like help people to see through it and help them to see that it's not biblical you know because maybe you do it maybe you know somebody who does it you know and maybe you can stop it and make the body of christ look like less of a joke um because this stuff makes it, it makes you look like a clown man like and the thing is, is like, you may not realize it, but other people freaking do, okay? To, there's a lot of other people that look at this and they, they look at this and they go, oh, okay, well, this is just a religious show. There's nothing real about it. It's just people trying to con people out of their money by putting on a show. And a lot of the time, that's exactly what it is. Shouldn't be that way. And, but the thing is, and in reality, the real walk isn't that way. That's the counterfeit. So I'm ex the, so like now that's not now then that's not now a lot of these people are just stuck in that because they may have been raised in the counterfeit, but they themselves actually love the Lord and they think they just don't know the Bible well enough, or they're so brainwashed by what they've seen that 
they're not they're not comprehending that this isn't right. And so, you know, and that's a big part of it. Like you got to, like I commended those, those people earlier, like, you know, you got to be able to think past your peer group, which is hard, which is hard. Granted, I've had to do it and it's hard, man. Nobody wants to do it because again, it's freaking hard. Like, you know, you got to be ostracized. Nobody wants to be ostracized. Nobody wants to be the odd man out and whatever. But the thing is, that is the price of spreading truth. Like, I just had to tell somebody earlier, you know, like right before I did this video, dude, if you want diet truth, you better not talk to me. Like, you, and you bet, and you might not want to even, you might not like the Lord neither. Like, he's all truth. Um, and so the thing is, is, yeah. Um, but they take on these titles. Okay, and, and a lot of them's fine because, like, there are titles in the church, like a deacon, an elder, you know, stuff like that. But you don't call them, you know, nobody said, nobody, I mean, well, the Paul never said, like, he would say, I'm Paul, I'm Paul the apostle of Jesus Christ, right? Because he was like showing them why he's got the authority to speak in that manner, right? But he, you know, I doubt Paul went around like, I'm Apostle Paul, how you doing, you know? And if somebody didn't call him the Apostle Paul, I'm sure he didn't sweat him about it. If somebody looked at him and called him brother, I'm sure he would have been like, okay, well, whatever, you know, that's what I am. No big dang deal. And like, you know, because, you know, you're not called to be an egomaniac. When you actually look at what the attitude that the Scripture is trying to cultivate within us, it's the opposite of egomania. Um, and so the thing is, is it's, it's trying to humble us because we need it. You know, pride comes very naturally. You know, I mean, like, look at little kids. You know, a little kid comes up, he does a little... Uh, sloppy drawing uh, and crown and you know glitter glue and it's the and it, it it's not exactly art here but to him it is and he comes up and he's like dun, 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 look at what it did you know like you put that on the fridge mom you're welcome yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> the thing. I love kids <laughs> but because they do stuff like that. They're silly. But the thing is, is like, as you grow, that should, you know, be dropping off a little bit. And it's not totally going to drop off because you're going to do stuff you're proud of and whatever. We all do. But it's just how much does it rule over you? And so, and this, and this, and like a lot of these things I'm talking about, I'm really trying to get at the underlying theme. So that way, you can see it for yourself and, you know, and see how gross it is and then not do it yourself. And not only that, but spread the truth and may, and, and show how legitimate Jesus Christ actually is and that he's not a joke. And it, the body of Christ is no joke, you know, because all this stuff makes us look ridiculous, ridiculous. Um... So, yeah, um, and a lot of people might think, oh, well, he's being judgmental. No, no, I'm not being judgmental at all. I'm trying to make this look not stupid, you know, and there is, a, there's a science to what looks stupid, and that's what the Bible's laying out, you know. It's not just looking stupid. It's not just an aesthetic, an aesthetic thing. It's, it makes it look not legitimate. You know, it makes it look like just every little thing else cheap. This is not cheap. And I get tired of people making it cheap, making it look cheap. And that's what all these, this, this egoism does. Uh, like, because when I was down there, like, I mean, again, like, I call him brother, and you just see a look about my, like, oh, I am Apostle so and so. And it's like, no, your brother. You see, the Bible says that if you're going to be a leader over anybody, you got to be a servant to all. A servant, not 
you know, lording over them. And that's what these people do with these titles. Um, and like, they act like they're a talk show host. And, and so here's the other thing is then they have women preaching like you would not believe. And that's not biblical. In first Peter, you see that. And not only that, but every time it talks about who's, uh, in the ministry, it talks what the requirements are. It says you have to be a husband of one wife. You know, like, and you have to have your house in order too. Um, by the way, that's another thing. It's a whole another can of worms right there. But, uh, but like your house has to be under subjection. You have to have them in order. And so, that doesn't mean you're a tyrant by any means. It means you're leading properly. Because if you're leading properly, you're not going to take your kids off. You're not going to take your wife off. They're going to like being under your authority because you're not a freaking jerk and you're just right. You know? Um, and so, you know, but if you're, a, if you're a totalitarian about it, they're not going to like that. And they're going to rebel against that and whatever. So... You know, it's about, you know, when your house is under subjection to you, it shows that you're actually good at being a leader. That's the point. And so, but yeah, they can't be the husband of one wife. And the, the Bible didn't say the spouse of one spouse. Okay. They had that word. They had, they had that, the, that terminology back then. Didn't say that. It said the husband of one wife. I don't think that the Lord puts things there by accident. And then not only that, um, and then people say, oh, shut up. Like, shut up. Like, but anyhow. Uh, and again, there's no example of a preacher, a preacher prophetess. Yes, there were female prophets, but... Well, there was one that I could think of, um, but and she and she ministered unto the Lord, but never said she preached. Speaking positions are male positions, and and within the body of Christ. And the thing is, is like, uh, and you know, I mean, but yeah, and so they'll have these went and there are several points of scripture that corroborate this this is actually throughout the whole bible about male leadership um but the thing is these uh they have these women going in and they're preaching and by the way they're preaching straight up emotionalism and i get tired of emotionalism yes it's okay to have an emotion when you preach one of my favorite preachers is paul washer he's super emotional when he preaches but he balances it with logic logic i mean like you're not just listening to this dude just sitting there snotting the whole time with no substance you know, he's actually making very valid points, but he's passionate about it. That's good preaching. That's good preaching. But, like, the thing is, so often what happens, and this is very prevalent with, you know, female, what they call preachers, is they get up and they're just going, they're rattling on, and this has become their outlet for their emotions. And it's like, stop. This is not what this is for. Like, and there's dudes that do that too. There are many men that do this. And can it be an outlet for your emotions? Yeah, but that should not be the primary function. You know, um, the primary function should be to edify the body of Christ. And if you get an emotional kick on the side, cool, you know, fine, whatever. But just don't let that take it off the rails. And so the thing is, is like, so you'll have that, but then they call themselves a prophetess so-and-so and like, uh, and it's not just and like they do, they have that attitude with it too. Like, and then they have a, uh, they get, they like, I seen one, like it was like on their local TV down there. They had this one lady and like, she's calling herself a preacher and, you can see, like, it, yeah, it, well, this, is, this isn't this is just her. This is a lot of them. Like, they, like, promote themselves so hardcore. They're not promoting Jesus, then them, necessarily. They're promoting them. 
Okay? They they have made a gimmick out of their ministry, which disgusts me. And, like, and they're trying to sell it. And so, like, these people, they'll go, and not only that, but they are dressed so loud. Okay? Now, this is a lot of people in church. This is a lot of people, which I don't like. You know, I don't like. I think we should just wear normal freaking clothes, dude. But, like, I mean, or if something slightly nicer, but not being gaudy. And that's like, and again, like, I come out of the Pentecostal church. That's a very prevalent thing in the church I come from. You know, it's not just, it's not just Southern black churches at all. And, like, you see, like, we have more in common than most would think. But, uh, the thing is... Is but regardless of who's doing it, it's wrong. It ain't about who's doing it, it's about what's being done. And that's the difference between egoism and actually pursuing the truth. It's not about who's right, but what's right. And so the thing is, is uh, these people are dressing super loud, they're promoting themselves like they're basically like dressed like Huggy Bear, promoting like with this, you know striking a, the the most like you know into themselves poses you've ever seen and like and like trying to like look like hang on hang on I'll strike a pose that's what they do that's what they do all right like they'll have a promotion hang on let me get a book here let me get a book oh I hope I can like get this out enough to do it right oh man I can't all right, so like they'll like have let's just say they got a use your imagination with me a little bit. They got a book, right? And they'll have it like sitting in their lap, open, and then they'll be sitting there, like you know, or 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 nibbling on their side of their. Oh, I wish I had some glasses, but you know what I mean, where they put the glasses in the side of their mouth. And, you know, it's like, dude. Are you, are you Michael Douglas? What are you trying to do here, man? Why are you striking a dang pose? Like, why can't you just like, like, who cares? You know, like, and not only that, why do you need to be in the picture? Why can't you just make an advertisement like, this is the church, we're having this. And not only that, but they like make these titles up for their, what they're doing. Okay, and it's so ridiculous because, like, they're trying to promote themselves. They're doing sales tactics where, like, uh, they'll 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 call it like you know, just let's say you know, um, instead of just calling it Bible study, they'll call it like Master's Course or whatever. And it's like it's Bible study, dude. Like, and you know, or like, uh. I'm about to have to just make a part two. Um, I'll ride this one out for another minute. But, uh, the, and they'll, they'll do all this egotistical crap. And it's like, dude, why? Why is any of this necessary? And it's, and they do it to draw a crowd. They do it to seem, because it makes them feel fancy. And then also, they think it makes them seem more legitimate when on the contrary it makes you look like a joke like to especially like the people that are actually you know fairly book smart it makes you look like a joke it makes you look gaudy and i wish people would just let me be there like would just let me help them out and you know take my advice on this stuff because i'm telling you man like you want to know what really makes you look cool not caring about looking cool flat out like just you know dressing nice and you know clean and whatever and like not care and just wearing stuff you like maybe but just not caring you know all right i'm gonna make part two hold up